Welcome to Tea to Green, brought to you by Cleary Building Corp, American Family Insurance, Bruner Realty, Callaway Golf, the first tee of South Central Wisconsin, and Middleton Ford. Hey, Rook, let me show you how to read these greens, okay? All right, put okay. it back there. I want you to aim it right about there, okay? Right about there. Yep. Make it every time, guaranteed. What? I told you here, not over there. I mean, I know you made it, and that's the whole bottom line, but listen to what I'm saying. I've got years of experience of reading these greens. Listen to the old man, Rook, okay? Come on. Okay. Monkey see, monkey do. Uh, that's it. I, I can't. What good is my knowledge if they don't take advantage of it? Want more Tea to Green TV? Find us on Facebook, Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for episodes, bloopers, pro tips, and more. Welcome back to Tea to Green TV. I'm still Van, and you're still Derek, right? Uh, as far We've as I got know. a neat show. We've had a lot of good fortune to cover some very special events. The Evans Scholar, one of the premier events in all of Madison uh, during the course of the spring and summer. And then we've got a unique tip that you did with uh, with Zach Lee, right? Well, we did a little bit of a flop shot, but I'll tell you what, this Evan Scholar with Daniel Romero, not only has he done wonderful things for just high school golf, but then distinguished senior, becomes an Evan Scholar, man, what a really cool story. But on to the tip, we got our man Zach Gargard. He looks like a wide receiver catching a flop shot. You gotta check this one out. He's got some hops. You, you can hop right to it when you watch Tita Green TV. Achieving a dream takes time and drive, and it doesn't happen overnight. Making a decision to go after that dream is what life is all about. For all of you still pushing towards your dreams, we salute you. Cleary Building Corp, over 100,000 dreams and counting since 1978. When I wake up in the morning, love, and the sunlight hurts my eyes, then I look at you. <laughs> all right. right with me. Just one look at you, and I know it's gonna be, gonna be, gonna be a lovely day, a lovely day. Nevada Bob's, your game, your store. Number one in service selection and always at the best price. You can talk about technology and go on about your innovation. You can tell golfers you're the longest and claim to be the best. Or you can build something that's truly epic. Introducing Jailbreak. It's redefined how the head and face react at impact. It's transformative speed, and it's only in Epic. From Callaway. PGA Junior League Golf is a fun and innovative program designed to introduce kids to golf. So much fun. It was really fun. It's really fun. Boys and girls age 13 and under of all skill levels wear numbered jerseys and play as a team in a fun, social, and inclusive environment. Accomplishing something as part of a team is more fun than, than doing it on your own. To learn more about PGA Junior League Golf, go to PGAJLG.com. Welcome back to Tita Green TV. I'm joined by John Kaskowski, uh, President and CEO of the WGA and the Evans Scholarship Program. How important is a, is a day like this today in terms of helping to raise funds for the Evans Scholarship Program? Well, it's incredibly important. We've been uh, had this event at Maple Bluff for over 30 years, and we've raised a lot of money to support the education of young men and women, and we also bring a lot of people that might not be familiar with the organization. We bring them here today, and they learn a little bit about Evans Scholars. I've had the good fortune to talk to a future Evans Scholarship recipient, and then Mike Lee, a former 
Evans Scholarship recipient. How important is it to meld those, those groups together? It's incredibly important because the Evans Scholars Foundation is really a, a life-changing program, but it's also a lifelong program. And the connection between people that received the scholarship you know, 70 years ago, let's say, and the kids that get it today, it really is what makes our program so special is that they all kind of get to know each other and help each other out. We're about on our show here to try to grow the game of golf. How important is it through the Evans Scholarship Program to continue to grow the, the caddy program through the sport of golf? You know, that's a, that's a great question. I, I happen to believe very strongly that the idea of caddying, someone that caddies, it creates new players. It is a grow the game initiative that really doesn't get enough press, if you will. We talk about things like the First Tee, that's a wonderful organization, but really at, at its core, you caddy, you learn, about the, you learn about the game, you learn how people play the game, how you act around the game, uh, and certainly it's a, it's a great way for young people to not only make money in the summer, but get a chance to learn about golf. And get a scholarship to boot, correct? Oh, that's the, hopefully that's the kind of the cherry on top, if you will, is that the, that Evans scholarship and they want to chase that dream and hopefully they earn it. You know, it's important that also that they continue to caddy while going through school. Uh, Dan Romero, one of your recipients, recent recipients, he wants to continue to caddy. I mean, isn't that the thing that you want to do as, as they continue to get exposed to the game of golf? We do. We want them to keep caddy. Once you receive the scholarship, we want you to go back to your club, your facility where you got the scholarship. So, you know, people can be proud of the fact that in Dan's instance, you know, he got the scholarship and he came back and you know, after maybe a couple of years of caddying, we hope he takes that next step and, and you know, takes advantage of that education and gets that first job. As you all know, it's always important to grow the game. How important is growth for your organization, uh, not only now, but for the future? It is incredibly important. Our, our goal is to expand the opportunities for young people. We have 935 kids in school today. Our goal is to get to 1,000 by the year 2020. A big part of that is our program at the University of Wisconsin, where we're going to redo our scholarship house on Langdon Street. We're actually going to tear it down and build a new house where the capacity will be even greater than it is today. So hopefully we're going to have a future generation of kids that will get the Evans Scholarship and help us grow the program. Thanks for joining us, John. Appreciate right, it. Continue. Thank you. Good luck, all right? Thanks. T to Green TV will continue in just a moment. Mike, uh, what did the Evans Scholarship Program mean to you as, as a young caddy going through the program and ultimately getting you into college? Tremendous program. I, I mean, I can't say enough about, about this program. Um, you know, it's a four-year full-ride scholarship. Um, you know, you meet some great, great kids. You, you come through school with, uh, with no loans, no debt. Um, and, and I feel like I owe a debt of gratitude to those that came before me that have contributed to this program. And uh, now I feel like it's my turn to give back. You talk about giving back. How important is an outing such as today's to perpetuate the Evans Scholarship Program? It's tremendous. Um, there's outings like this all over the country. Uh, this, is, this is one of the, uh, the ones that have been around the longest. This is the 38th annual. Um, so we've been running this for, for a number of years and we've generated almost $900,000 for the, for the program. The importance to keeping this thing alive, to grow the game of golf, but to grow the caddy programs, that's in essence what you guys are all about, isn't it? That is one of the biggest challenges today in, in, uh, in the Midwest market is growing, caddy, the, growing the caddy program. Um, getting, getting players to take caddies is one of the biggest challenges in the Midwest here today. The challenges that you have, and you're trying to grow the game through your own scholarship program, through the caddy program, but you know, life after the Evans Scholarship Program, does it still impact your life to this day? Absolutely. Um, you know, having grown up caddying here and now, now having become a member here, it's, uh, it takes tremendous pride in, in, in having done that and come kind of full circle. Um, I just, I, I'm constantly humbled by what this program has given to me and what it means to me and it's just, it's just a great feeling to give back. I like to put people on the spot. What was the most forgettable moment you had as a caddy where either maybe you left a club at the green or something, whatever? So, so uh, we were, I was out caddying with, with uh, three, other, three other peers of mine and uh, we, we were maybe not paying attention like we should have been and we all were looking at the ball and all of a sudden, bang, hit me right in the side of the head. <laughs> the member thought it hit me in the shoulder and I didn't want to tell him it hit me in the head because I was fine. That, that was maybe one of the more forgettable. You know, Andy, 1978 was a great year for both of us. Cleary Building Corp got its start and you won the U.S. Open. Wouldn't it be great to go back in time? I can do that. Hop in. Let's ride. And you know 
Ellsworth wins the U.S. Open because it's built Cleary Tough. Whoa! That was awesome. See the rest of the story at ClaryBuilding.com. Locally owned and a family dealership, that's Middleton Ford. For over seven decades, Middleton Ford has been there for thousands of customers that have now become a part of their family. It starts with outstanding service and customer satisfaction. Newer used, fleet vehicles, hybrids, or the popular F-150 truck at Middleton Ford, they'll treat you right. From the moment you step onto their lot and into their showroom, you can start and end your search for the right vehicle at Middleton Ford. MiddletonFord.com. Remember, if you don't see the Middleton Ford logo, you've paid too much. I was one of the first to play Chrome Soft. It's long, extremely soft, and unbelievably easy to control. I could tell right away it was a different kind of ball. But some golfers have not even tried Chrome Soft. Let me ask you something. If you're not willing to change, how can you expect to get better? Chrome Soft, it's the ball that changed the ball. PGA Junior League Golf is a fun and innovative program designed to introduce kids to golf. So much fun. It was really fun. It's really fun. Boys and girls age 13 and under of all skill levels wear numbered jerseys and play as a team in a fun, social, and inclusive environment. Accomplishing something as part of a team is more fun than, than doing it on your own. To learn more about PGA Junior League Golf, go to PGAJLG.com. My name is Derek Schnarr, founder of the Balance and Believe Foundation. Years ago, I started this foundation to help promote junior golf while raising money for the community. Throughout the summer, you'll see lots of different golf tournaments at our golf courses here in Madison. Thankfully, our golf professionals donate those golf courses, so as the kids play, they're raising money for the community. If you'd like to help these children raise some money and make a difference in the community, please go to our website and make a donation. Dan, when did you find out you were going to be the recipient of an Evans Scholarship? I found out that I was uh, fortunate enough to receive an Evans Scholarship uh, December 24th of this year, the day right before Christmas. So a really great Christmas present for me and my family. We were very excited, thrilled. Um, my parents were put to tears by it. It was a really great moment for, for us. When did you start to realize that you really wanted to go through and participate in the program and how much fun was it for you to kind of get your foot in the door to become a caddy? Well, I knew um, kind of playing, growing up and playing um, tournaments over the summer and then going to play high school golf, I thought that caddying would be a great opportunity for me to continue to be involved with the game over the summer and learn a lot of things from the members here and learn more about golf itself and just be a part of the golf community. Um, and then I you know, really wanted to pursue um, the application of the Evans Scholarship then thereafter. Um, it, so it sounded like a great opportunity and I definitely uh, took advantage of it. Was there an aha moment for you when you decided, okay, I want to be a caddy, but the things you've learned since you've been able to caddy for members and, and understanding the depths of the game, so to speak? Um, I think one of the biggest things I've learned is how to interact with other people um, because caddying is um, it's not just about golf. It's about interacting with others and getting to know um, different aspects of different people's games and being, being able to work and bring out the best in other people. So I think, um, I mean, I've had uh, great opportunities to caddy for a lot of people, and I think... Um, that's something I'm really grateful for and something I can uh, continue to, uh, to uh, use as I, as I go on. Was there a funny moment that you've been involved in while caddying for a member? You know, maybe you forgot a club or they broke a club in a, in a fit of anger or something like that? Well, I um, can't really think of any funny moments, but I mean, there, there's been plenty. I can, I can assure you of that. But uh, more specifically, I think one of the coolest opportunities for caddying um, was when I caddied for Mr. Pat Richter and then I also caddied uh, for Mr. Mark Tauger um, a couple times, so that, that was very cool. How important is it for you while you're getting your education to continue to be a part of the Caddy program? Oh, it's, it's very important because, I mean, this, this scholarship and the, the Evans Scholar Foundation has done so much for me that the least I can do is uh, remain involved with the program and give back as much as I can, and 
Um, I really have found a community here at Maple Bluff and I uh, really want to do as much as I can to be involved with that and give back. So, You're also involved in the First Tee program. Was that maybe the springboard that got you into the Evans Scholarship opportunity? Well, I think it may have been part of it. Um, I think the First Tee you know, introduced me to the game of golf at a very early age and really got me into the golf community. So I think it definitely had a, a significant role in giving me in the golf community and then the Evans Scholarship and um, caddying after that was kind of a springboard off of the first tee, I definitely think so. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you. Here's your Tee to Green Pro Tip. Welcome back. It's time again for Tip from a Pro, brought to you by the Wisconsin PGA. Once again, my good friend Zach Gargard here, Marquette University. We are going to show you how to hit a flop shot today. Now, why would you want to hit a flop shot? Well, a lot of times there might be some things in front of you where you got to hit the ball really high and get it to stop really quick. Or, in this case, we have a pin that is very close to the edge of the green, meaning he does not have a lot of room to hit a ball in low and have it run away from him. So he's going to have to get this ball up really high and then it's going to stop really quick next to the flag. So as Zach is setting up here to do the flop shot, you can see his feet, once again, just like the bunker shot, are aimed or aligned to the left of his target. The face of the golf club is extremely open. Again, seeing how the toe is behind the heel. And he is going to keep it like that the entire time. So here we go, a little flop shot. Wow. So six years ago, when Zach decided to commit to Marquette, I asked his football coach at Wanake, I'm like, so does he stop playing football? And he said, uh-uh, we want the guy to keep playing football. So we came up with a way for him to work on both. A little flop shot and... Touchdown, Warriors! And that's the tip from a pro brought to you by the Wisconsin PGA. Next on Less One, we have... Looking for a game? Now you can join Sherry Steinhauer, Jerry Kelly, Andy North, and Steve Stricker and become part of the Champions Club of the First Tee of South Central Wisconsin. Go to thefirsttscw.org or ask about us at your favorite golf club. Join Sherry, Jerry, Andy, and Strick in the Champions Club. I'm Sherry Steinhauer. Join me and support the First Tee of South Central Wisconsin. You're up. Locally owned and a family dealership, that's Middleton Ford. For over seven decades, Middleton Ford has been there for thousands of customers that have now become a part of their family. It starts with outstanding service and customer satisfaction. Newer used, fleet vehicles, hybrids, or the popular F-150 truck at Middleton Ford, they'll treat you right. From the moment you step onto their lot and into their showroom, you can start and end your search for the right vehicle at Middleton Ford. MiddletonFord.com. Remember, if you don't see the Middleton Ford logo, you pay too much. Before I joined the first tee, the only sport I ever did was surfing channels. I used to get seed and D's. Now I'm planning for a BA in history. I've learned a lot at the first tee. I even learned how to play golf. Put a golf club in a young person's hands and watch them grow. At the first tee, we instill values like confidence, judgment, respect, and integrity. Values they learn from golf, but take with them for the rest of their lives. Find out how you can get involved today. It seems like every financial company talks about investing your way to wealth. But what about protecting what you're building right now? At Northwestern Mutual, we know the importance of doing both. We combine personalized investment solutions that help grow your wealth with world-class insurance that protects what matters most to you. This whole picture approach is just one of the reasons 96% of our clients stay with us year after year. At Northwestern Mutual, we help you live life differently. T to Green is brought to you by Cleary Building Corp. Welcome back to T to Green. As you can see, just an awesome day here at Blackhawk Country Club, and I am joined by Jackson Fonder, CEO and President of Catholic Charities. Welcome to the show. Thank, Thank you, you very much for joining me. Tell me about what a day like today means to you and your organization. Oh, it's huge. You've got about 144 folks out here, a lot of them from the business world. They all want to golf here because Blackhawk is, is such a spectacular setting, but they all know that we're raising money for a great cause. 
And they also know that a lot of different companies come here and they purchase the foursomes. And is it a way for them to kind of network a little bit? They do. This is about the 14th or 15th year we've been doing this. And they count on seeing those other business leaders here year after year after year. That's a pretty good thing. Yeah. So tell me kind of how the day starts, what happens after the golf. I think there's a little bit of a silent auction. Just walk me through what goes on throughout the day. It's a pretty good day. Folks start arriving about 10, 30, 11. Uh, registration, quick lunch, we kicked off about 12, 12.30. Uh, it'll go till about 5, 5.30. We'll have dinner, we'll have a silent auction, we'll talk about where the monies are going. Uh, of course, we'll have winners and, uh, <laughs> and some other prizes. Always gotta be some winners when yes. you're playing golf, right? Yes. Let's talk about the money. What kind of money does an event like this bring in and then what does your organization do with the money? Yeah, every golf tournament is going to be different. We're very blessed in that this tournament, after expenses, will raise about 75, 80,000 wow. net. Yeah. That will go into two areas: one, family and children programs, specifically around mental illness in schools, okay. and the other one in homelessness and poverty in downtown Madison. And from what I understand from talking to some of the people within your organization, is that kind of a new initiative for you guys? It is. That's really a part of the future of Catholic Charities. Okay. We are so excited about it. What we're essentially doing is opening a homeless day resource center called The Beacon. Wow. The Beacon will open up in October. It's going to be open seven days a week, 365 during the day, wow. 8 to 5. A place for men, women, and children who are homeless to go and connect with services around Dane County. Tell me really what your role is within the organization. Well, I joined Catholic Charities about five years ago as president and CEO. Uh, what I try to do is provide a vision. I work closely with the board around strategy. Uh, we hire some great employees who align themselves in serving uh, all the poor and vulnerable, as many as we can, in South Central Wisconsin, and I try not to get in their way. Fantastic. And I'll tell you, one of the neat things probably in the state of Wisconsin is all across the state at all the private clubs, even the public clubs around there, they give up their Mondays so opportunities like this present themselves. What does it mean to your organization with your partnership with Blackhawk? Oh, it's everything. Uh, we know Blackhawk is one of the premier golf clubs in Madison. And for them to offer us such a spectacular setting and have these businesses come back year after year with this as the background, you can't beat it. If there was one message for the viewers at home watching from Catholic Charities, what would it be? The message for today, we're raising money for men, women, and children who are at the lowest they've been, who really need our help, who have no place to go. If somebody at home wanted to get involved or even donate to Catholic Charities, how would they do that? Well, the easiest way is to go to our website, ccmadison.org. For those of you at home watching, go to the website, help them out. They're doing wonderful things throughout the community, and we'll be right back with Tita Green TV. We don't have a lot of grocery stores here in our neighborhood, and we want our neighbors to have access to good things at affordable prices. The only thing easy in our community is fast food. <laughs> wow. well, hello. We're here to offer some help. Welcome. Retirement, huh? Yeah. I mean, look at the size of this thing. Who doesn't need a sweet potato that size? They took the time to care what our project was about. There you go. And that was something that I'll truly treasure. People are always asking me how I find the time to work at getting a body that looks this good. How about another round? Ah. And then they have the gall to ask me, where do I find the time to perfect my golf game? Whoa! What? How I became such a great multifaceted athlete. Wow! Ah, God. Ah, geez. That's it. I'm done. I'm done. My secret is simple. Condo living. Condo living allows me to be the very best van I can possibly be. Oh, man, this is the life. Call the experts at Bruner Realty and simplify the way that you live. The Payroll Company, your source for the best in class HCM technology, HR outsourcing, and retirement plan administration. 
Tea to Green is brought to you by Cleary Building Corp. Here's your weekly Tea to Green fitness tip. Welcome back to the tip of the week. I'm Christina Schnarr with the Balance and Believe Golf Academy. I'm here with Zach Goggert, our pro golfer. Today, Zach is going to go over glute bridges. So Zach's going to take it down on the ground. He's going to be lying on his back. Knees are bent. Feet are hip width apart, about roughly 12 inches from the hips. Zach is going to bring those hips up. His abs are going to be super tight. As he's lifting, he's squeezing with his glutes and his hamstrings, so it's lower body. Take those hips down and up. Weight is evenly into the feet, but a little more pressure on those heels, really engaging those glute muscles. Pushing those hips up, you're trying to make a straight line between the shoulders, the hips, and the knees. As you come up, you can hold it for 10 to 15 seconds, or you could do individual reps. Both of them are wonderful. I would recommend starting with three lifts at 10 seconds each, and then adding 10 to 15 single reps up and down. As you're coming back down in this particular exercise, make sure that you're not resting on the ground because we're actually letting go of that contraction, and we don't want to do that. We want to keep those muscles fired up the whole time. So as you go up and down, make sure that the hips are not resting on the ground. Keep that weight in those heels. Really good, Zach. Excellent job. Zach, how do you feel glute bridges have played a role in your fitness routine? I think glute bridges, a lot like squats, are huge in building lower body and core strength like you mentioned. Glutes, hamstrings, which as we've talked about a ton, are huge for uh, power and stability in your golf swing. So that glute bridges have been something I've incorporated and really enjoyed in my workouts. Awesome. Thanks, Zach. Thanks for tuning in this week for the tip of the week. We'll see you guys next week. Maybe the best tip that we've ever had. And we've had some great tips. Hopefully we disseminated a lot of information, but watching Zach do that, I mean the flop shot, I can flop it, but I sure can't run like that. Well, I hope everybody at home can appreciate the icky shuffle. I didn't know he was coming with that. I mean, whoa, he caught me off guard. I pulled a hammy just watching. An impromptu. And you know, let's segue now to our next show. Another one of those special theme shows, the American Family Children's Hospital, and it's about to give the Balance and Believe 36. We're going to really focus in on that on our next segment, so make sure you stay tuned to Tea to Green TV. Want more Tea to Green TV? Find us on Facebook, Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for episodes, bloopers, pro tips, and more. Tea to Green supports the Balance and Believe Foundation. To learn more or donate, visit bnbfoundation.org. T2 Green is brought to you by Cleary Building Corp, Nevada Pops, Northwestern Mutual, The Payroll Company, University Ridge Golf Course, and the Wisconsin State Golf Association and the Wisconsin PGA.